Hey y'all, what's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome back for a little tea with tea. So we're going to the trap house. Yes, y'all, we are still talking about Simon and Portia, but there's been some new developments. Y'all, I think at this point, we should start having a countdown to implosion. Now, if you guys know anything about Simon and Portia and you're in a tarot, I did a tarot card reading for them. Just saying, if you're not in a tarot reading, we can talk about what's actually happened on the physical world. If you like uh, the spiritual world and said, go take that out uh, thing. I also did a reading on the way Phelan's feeling and what she would look forward uh, to with Phelan and why, what her motivations are and why she's staying so um, quiet. That video will be up too, but let's get down to the mess. Listen, let's look at, first of all, where are the facts are set? Portia was in Phelan's home. They were not best friends. We know that, but we know Portia was in Phelan's home. Yes, that's why you're here. She took her husband down. There have been a lot of reports that say that even though Portia did something low down, Simon is actually the one that's really upset with Phelan because Phelan, for whatever reason, and we see why with all the people he was seeing, was really fed up with Simon's meth. Simon was known to be in the streets. I guess he got a little bit too much. Phelan was actually the person that, if not left him, was fine to see him go. Do you see what I'm saying? Now, that does not make it right that Portia actually went and was in her house and took that opportunity. But we know what it is. Portia, since she married Cordell, has been looking for any man to take care of her. Y'all can say she was raised that way. I think it's just what she thinks she deserves. She has her own kingdom. But for whatever reason, she really does want to be a wife and she wants to be a wealthy wife. All right, Portia, no shame in the game. The optics do look bad. However, let us not forget, just because Phelan was done with Simon does not mean, does not mean that she felt in any way, shape or form it was good for Portia to take him. That is why Phelan literally unfollowed Portia as soon as they put that picture up because that was the first time Phelan no now I know Dennis gave a big shout out but if everything was done on the up and up why wouldn't Phelan also give them a congratulations especially considering when it came time for the divorce and even when Simon pulled the divorce back he asked the judge to dismiss the divorce then he refiled in April to go ahead with the divorce Phelan was like, yeah, it's cool. You can do what you want. I think the issue here and the cards actually show Simon is in love with Phelan, that his wife, he sang her praises. Now, here's the thing. We're going to get to the new developments, but let's just do the setup, right? Simon's in love with Phelan. However, he has wandering everything, right? Every part of his body, his mind, his mouth, everything below the north of the Mississippi is wandering Phelan for whatever reason got sick of it and she decided to exit now i do believe when simon um uh first withdrew divorce papers from Phelan, we can see from the timeline there was a couple of things going on that you guys might not be aware of simon really wanted Phelan to be on the real housewives of um, Atlanta. There's actually interviews that Phelan did from two years ago because they've always been known in the Atlanta circle, so, social circle saying they would never do reality TV. They're cool with this. We see, by the way, Fy Phelan has, I know I'm pronouncing her name, we'll call her Fallon for the point of this interview, right? Um, we see the way Fallon has been uh, very, very quiet. She's not willing to put her business out in the street. She doesn't like that. She likes quiet. Like most Tauruses, she likes that understated luxury. You know what I'm saying? Some Tauruses like the rah, 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 but they usually have fire in them. Ta uh, Phelan definitely seems like one of the understated Tauruses that like understated luxury, right? You look at Fallon, everything about her screams rich, rich, rich chick energy. However, she does have that, ele she likes the elegant version of money of wealth. Okay. When it became apparent that Phelan was not getting on Real Housewives of Atlanta, that's when Simon decided to put back the divorce proceedings in. You notice once they had that contract about who's going to get a peach and who's not going to get a peach, all of a sudden divorce papers are in. Now, if you believe conspiracy theorists, and I always do, if you believe conspiracy theorists, Portia had a hand to play. Here's the thing. Everybody's telling Portia, yo, he only wants you for your fame. It's only for your fame. Portia knows this. It's fine. To Portia, 
Her fame is an extension to her beauty. Portia is the type of mentality, not saying it's right or wrong, we are not judging, we're just talking about mindset, where somebody wanting you just for your beauty, just for your body, just for how um, you are a trophy, it's not objectionable to her, right? We all make choices. Some people are like, it'll never be me. That's fine, but it will always be Portia in times like that. Portia looks at her beauty as an advantage, and beauty is an advantage, right? Portia trades in erotic currency. We talked about erotic currency. You guys check out my other videos, but if you don't know, men carry monetary currency in a patriarchal society. Women carry, um, women carry erotic currency. Erotic currency is how appealing you can be. You have to be in your childbearing years, but it also, you go into what patriarchy says beauty is, right? If you're a little dumb, if you're a little naive, if you're a little, <laughs> right? Patriarch society says, no, that's good. That's type the woman we want. We don't want a woman that has too much of opinion. We don't want a woman. We want a woman to be our peace. We want a woman to be our entertainment. We want our woman to be our prize, but that's it. And of course, pass their beauty down to our children. Portia trades in erotic currency. A lot of people do. It's not right or wrong. It's just the way our society is set up. So it's not objectionable to Portia that Simon is with her for her fame because the fame is a part of her erotic currency. There might be an army of Barbies we saw from Jessica Harris, that girl that Simon was in face. There might be an army of Barbies that's willing to be Mrs. Simon G. But do these army of Barbies have that profile that can put you in the next level? It's no different than what we see in society couples with heiresses that have a family fortune and a family name marrying men that are powerful with money. Why? Because it increases their profile. And Simon is of the age and he is of the culture. He comes from, I believe, a very prominent Nigerian family where marriage is not just love. Marriage is about increasing someone's profile. Now, there are people that's just like, but what is it? F Fallon didn't really increase Simon's profile, right? However, we don't know who Fallon was before New Royal Housewives in New Jersey. I don't know if Fallon has a name or she was a socialite in ATL before uh, Simon, or if that's the case, and that goes more into the theory that Simon actually really loved Fallon. He married her not for the fame, of course for her beauty, but he married her because there was something inside of her that he really liked. Now, where are we now, right? Y'all, it looks like the wedding may happen. However, Simon just got his teeth done, so he's getting ready for his close-up. Portia is working hard to get the spin-off. Bravo didn't promise him the spin-off yet, but Portia is working hard to get that spin-off because if she can get that spin-off, it's going to pull her off of Real Housewives of uh, Atlanta, right? It's going to pull her off of Real Housewives of Atlanta and it's going to also, um, so she can actually present her image the way she wants. And you know the way Portia demands absolute loyalty with her friends, right? She can demand the image the way she wants. She can be an activist. She can be, uh, you know, the perfect wife. She, you know, Portia likes to mold into whoever she's dating. Whoever Simon wants her to be, she will be. And she will do that without Kenya or Cynthia or anybody else being the foil. Now, a couple of things we know we know from the wedding, right? They're going to have a traditional ceremony in America. They're going to have a wedding ceremony in America. And then they're going to have a wedding ceremony overseas at one of Simon's properties. I guess in Nigeria, that will be the African wedding. Basically, she's going to do the same thing Shamia did. Now, I did a tarot card reading if you're into the spiritual. This is not going to end well, right? However, I do believe that the, well, there's a good chance that the wedding will happen because, because, because Simon is not done getting everything he can out of Portia. The thing is with Portia, she knows what she's dealing with. Simon is a Gemini. I'm sure that Simon has her thinking that he is all in. Gemini, cra Geminis can be crafty. And Geminis know, just like Cancers, how to do things so that you think one way. Portia is extremely emotionally intelligent, but when it comes to her love life, she is a bit blindsided whenever she gets very close to her goal. And that's the thing with Portia. She's very good at being strategic, very good at plotting. But when she gets close to her goal or when she gets her goal, it's like she didn't think about the next 20 things, right? Simon wants to be famous. He is ready for his close-up. If you go to his IG, he even has, he's been invited to think to speak at a, 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 a thing in ATL over women with fibroids. Simon! 
what are you speaking about woman with fibroids? You are not a doctor. You have no experience in fibroids. Where does this come from? But again, this shows his lust for fame that anybody that invites him. It could be the, the cheese making capital of Milwaukee. Simon will be there. He is ready for his close up. His job, and he thinks, protect his money, get in there, extract as much as he can from Portia. And we know from Simon that when he's ready to go, he's ready to go. Let's hope Portia has um, an escape plan. But we see from Portia, her not going to Shamia's wedding, her not being there for Shamia, her going ghost, that there it was, it looked like from the outside, a little bit of jealousy that Shamia was living this charmed life and getting something that Portia desperately desired, right? However, we know that Shamia being eternally loyal to Portia, almost like what is the connection? Like there's a genuine love there, but it seems very one-sided or maybe Shamia just accepts Portia for who she is, but it looks like Shamia looked out for her girl too because as you guys know, Shamia, according to Portia, hooked up Simon. Now this made things crazy and ever the whole internet was like, how could Shamia do this? How could Shamia do this? But why wouldn't Shamia do this? Do you honestly believe that Portia is that low down and all her friends are angels? Do you not believe that her bestie that was sitting on her lap talking about, I'm a lap dog. Do you not believe that they weren't down with the same stuff? Do you not believe that? I don't understand why people are holding Portia saying she's this and not saying Shamia, the girl that is always by her, her ride or die doesn't know what she is. Listen, with, when it comes to friends, men and women, Birds of a feather flock together. Now, I'm not talking about there might be a stripper and a nun that hangs out every three months and they're friends, but they were friends from childhood. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about when somebody is your OG ride or die, where you are with them more than you are at your own mom's house. Those type of friendships where you guys are Bonnie and Clyde inseparable, it is because there is a nexus of shared thought. Now, it might manifest itself differently, right? but it's a nexus of shared thought. Shamia and Portia have that nexus of shared thought, which is, and we see that when a lot of people are looking at the Instagram and you guys can check, around October, November, Portia completely stopped commenting on Phelan's Instagram post. However, Shamia kept commenting on Phelan's Instagram post, right, until this whole thing blew up, until. Phelan and Shamia, by the way, actually share the same birthday. They share the same birthday. So, I don't know, maybe some Tauruses in the comments let me know. Do you think there's a little Taurus rivalry, a little Taurus jealousy, or do you think they just can't? You know, sometimes there can only be one bull in the uh, field. But what that lets us, sorry, what that lets us know is Shamia 100% conspired to help Portia keep things on the low, and she was keeping on Phelan's page to keep eyes. Y'all keep talking about these girls. I don't know why she, Portia did that though, because now Shamia, everybody's looking at her crazy. Honestly, and Shamia, the fact that you are hooking up your married friends with your girlfriends, yeah, I would never have you around. But you know what? Shamia and Portia have their own world. Shamia feels very secure with her husband, whatever's going on, right? And Portia feels very, very secure with Simon. So maybe they're just like, whatever, we got our men. And Shamia's like, my man's not going anywhere. But you know what, Shamia? God doesn't like ugly. And I'm not even religious, but that is the perfect saying for this one. So Shamia was all up and down the girl's face, keeping Fallon distracted. The thing is, Tauruses are not stupid. If you look at the reading I did on Fallon's perspective, she kind of knew what was going, not what was going on the whole time, but she always kept Shamia at an arm's distance. She's very nice. She's very polite to people, but she always kept them at a distance because Tauruses are slow to trust. It's sad. It's sad. It's sad that someone slow, so slow to trust was surrounded by people tag team was surrounded by people that were just trying to do her in um we know from simon giving her the 1.25 million dollar engagement ring everybody was like oh portia made a come up girl there is no i don't and this is why it's so easy for people to run game on young girls under georgia law the ring needs to be returned if there is no wedding under us law in most places even if there is a wedding when the if there if a divorce happens you know legally unless you guys put it in your prenup or you guys agree to it the wedding ring has to be given back legally because it was given as a gift 
for marriage. If there is no marriage, then the gift must be given back. Portia knows this. A lot of people know this. Being able to wear a $1.25 million ring, let's say, and I looked in Fallon and Simon's prenup, she doesn't get to keep the ring. And Simon didn't, I'm sure Simon, the way he is, the way he left her with pennies, again, he said Phelan had his own money. I don't believe a word Simon says out of his mouth. I'm sure Phelan does good for herself. She's a Taurus. I never see a Taurus slipping. And if they have access to money, they will find a way to multiply that money. That is fine. But when we get to that ring, Portia could just be wearing it and he'll get it back and return it or sell it or maybe get it restyled to give to his next wife. Because at this point, this is his fourth marriage, okay? Um... Portia has taken a raking over social media. She is person non grata. Everybody thinks she's trash. Thank goodness, being that little messy cancer, she pulled Shamia in so they can be sisters together, not being trash, right? She literally ruined Shamia's reputation among the African elite and the married. And it doesn't have anything to do with married African elite. Anyone, if you were in my circle and one of your girlfriends took somebody else's man and please believe that most wealthy people do know each other even if they're not friends they hang in the same circles please believe y'all would be both of y'all would be persons on grata because if it's not portia it might be lauren it might be anyone else like phaedra said shamia is the african connection so we have a plot with sh schemes shout out to bear we got schemes schemia we got Portia, we got Simon, we got all those people, right? Simon is ready and everybody's playing a game. But you know what? Sometimes this is a marriage of convenience. Now, Portia swears that she is not pregnant. She swears this is not a shotgun wedding. This may or may not be true. But my thing to Portia is, what does it matter? What does it matter? Because your goal is to actually, after you sacrificed all this stuff, and I see her always on Instagram trying to rehab her image, showing what a great mom she is. PJ really doesn't mess with Portia. Every time Portia's like, PJ, PJ's just like, what you want? Literally, she's always like reading a book. She's always reading a book like, what now, right? Portia, and so it makes you wonder how much time, but maybe PJ is just a serious child. That might be it. PJ is just a serious child. How old is PJ now? Shouldn't she be like talking or more lively or more animated? How old is PJ? But anyway, um, listen, so there's a couple of theories about what's going on, right? Portia is saying the weddings definitely happen. Shamia is like up the mother loving stuck. So she's happy about the work she did. She thinks Portia and her are about to catch her. This explains also why Portia was so tight with Shamia and why Shamia was cleaning up after Portia. Because Portia was fine to show her sexual dominance with Latoya and whatever else. However, Shamia knows that Simon is an African man and a proud one at that. And he is not going forward. He's not dead. You know, those shenanigans might work when the lights are off, but he's not down for publicly those type of shenanigans going on. So Portia was trying to get her to, you know, straighten up and act like a lady, right? However, you know, when we actually think about that season, this is why Portia was so up Shamia. You know, everybody's like, Portia never rocked with Shamia. Follow me on this. Um, and never showed her the loyalty. But then last season, she's like, bestie, bestie, all this stuff. Nini did say that Portia is a user. Marlo said the same thing about when Portia wants something from you. She's like, come over. And she's really good. Um, her co-host on Bravo chat room, Kate Chasen, said Portia is a beautiful actress and a liar. But she's such a good liar that you actually believe. I really do think that Shamia is going to be tossed to the side in this Portia Simon thing. Why? Because once she marries Simon, she has what she wants. She has what she wanted and she doesn't have to go around pretending like her and Shamia are besties. Of course, it might land, land, uh, last longer than we think. Why? Um, because um, Portia ain't got no more friends. I mean, besides Lauren, right? Who else is rocking with Portia? Who else is rocking with Portia that needs a come up, right? Um, so that's what's going on with that. But there's a few other things also going on that we need to talk about in that thing. So let me go a quick inventory because I had a few things. Um, oh, so for all of you guys that think that you guys want Phelan to come on season 14 of Real Housewives of Atlanta, uh, two things. Phelan has a gag order on her. That's one of the reasons she hasn't spoke out. But Phelan hasn't even done any sneak discs because she's a tourist and she's inherently private, right? Um, uh, so that's Phelan. 
but also to the point of she like people pointed out she can come on and argue you she can't say anything about a marriage but you can see where her beef will portion but again family seems like she's a bit more elegant a bit more classy and she's not down for that in the long run it's just not the image she wants to portray right but everybody wants Sheree to come on because they're like, oh, Sheree would be the phone company carrier. Sheree would do this. Sheree. Let me tell y'all something. From what I've seen on Instagram, Sheree's not doing ish. Do you know how I know? Well, a couple of reasons, right? Sheree is plugged in with Africa right now. She's in African blogs as an American actress. She's doing all this stuff. Her and Simon were in Uganda, but not together. They were both invited to the Uganda's president's inauguration. Sheree lacks the power of discernment, which is why she was always on Kim K's team. She is plugged into a heavily moneyed African set and one she does not want to lose. The thing is, and no one's Sheree, she's probably getting a lot of money and doing tax evasion. Y'all don't be surprised if Sheree gets arrested for tax evasion because we know Sheree is not paying taxes on this money. However, Simon is very, very big in that set and Simon is heavily moneyed. She is not going to go against Simon for a storyline at the risk of she gets kicked out of that heavily moneyed circle. It only takes one person that really runs that circle or has more power than you to push you out. And then they'll bring another American person in, another American reality TV star that they talk about actress. Also, um, she posted a happy birthday. No, she posted a, so that lets you already know that she will be on team Portia because she has no power to discernment. And Sheree is about like, where the money resides. The only thing is she can never really tell where the money resides, right? Also, and, she, and I, I don't blame her. Why mess up that check? Also, she posted a post congratulating Kim Richard on her new um, Netflix series. I forget what it's called, right? Not Kim Richards, Kim Fields on her Netflix scene. We know that Kim Fields and Kenya hate each other, right? So she's already showing. But the interesting thing is the picture she posted. The picture she posted had Portia prominently displayed. She could have cut Portia out or she could have just zoomed in on it being her and Kim Fields. The fact that she left Portia in that picture lets you know that if she is allowed to come back, she will definitely be team Portia. She will definitely be going against Kenya. Just the way when she got bought back, she was team Kim and she even helped jump on KKK Kim Pyramid. She even helped jump on um, Kim's side when they were always dogging, Por uh, not Portia, dogging Kenya. And Portia was happy to jump in because you know that Portia's had an insecurity complex toward Kenya since she was young. Y'all, I know we're pushing to have P P Sheree on, but Sheree has sent enough signals that one, she's not messing up her African money. Two, she has no powers of discernment. Three, Simon, right? Three, Simon, Portia is Simon's baby right now. We'll see how long that lasts. She is not going against Portia because she wants a piece of that money too because we know that she always got. But again, she never went with powers of discernment. She was with Kim when she should have been up Nini's ass. And Nini liked Sheree. That's the funny thing. But she should have been up Nini's ass because Nini was running that shit and Nini would have secured her spot. Instead, her and Kim got dismissed. When she got bought back, she went again at Nini. So Sheree has no powers of discernment. But that is the whole thing of what I was saying with, I was like, you guys, you, you, you swear that all this stuff is going to happen with Sheree, but it is not. But there's an extra layer also, right? There's an extra layer to what's going on with the Porsche thing that nobody actually knows. Let me just pull it up. I took notes. I couldn't find my pen, so I actually took them on um, the thing. So we also have Marlo saying that she thinks this relationship is fake. Interesting enough, I think this is Marlo's way of trying to um, see if she can move back to a middle ground, right? Because now that she sees what's going on with Portia and Simon, Marlo doesn't miss money either. And Marlo is a very, very smart Aquarius. So she's trying to move it more to the middle, being like, instead of calling Portia a hoe, instead of calling Portia this, it's like, you know what? I think this is her storyline. Same thing with Garcelle. I think that she, Garcelle um, from Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, she said on The View that she thinks it's a storyline. The thing is, you know, it's not a storyline, but they're doing it so they can stay in the middle. Saying, listen, if this was true, she's probably a hoe, but I expect more from you. And you, you're not a hoe. You were raised better than that. She spoke very highly of Portia's mom. She spoke very highly of Portia's family. She spoke very highly of Portia's religion, right? 
And then since she thought it was a storyline, that was Marlo in the middle trying to mark a, a middle. So we have where the board set. We have Kenya. I do hope that they bring Phelan back. We have Portia. We have Sheree. Portia's probably going to demand Shamia's on, or at the very least, she's going to give her a role in her new thing as like best friend, right? Um, that's enough on Portia's side. Now, there have been calls a lot from the Real Housewives of Atlanta for them to fire production. The studio is doing a cash shakeup. I don't see what the point of that is. They need to fire production because production being one-sided and treating Portia as a baby really has damaged the ratings, right? Um, it really has uh, damaged the ratings. Now, um, it doesn't look like production is going to be fired, but they need to bring in new blood or who knows, maybe it will be. Filming doesn't start until I think November or December, and then it airs in January during Real Housewives of Potomac, which Real Housewives of Potomac is done by the same production company as Real Housewives of Atlanta, but Real Housewives of Potomac looks like it is good again. Again, I think the network is trying to kill um, Real Housewives of Atlanta for whatever reason. The same way, I don't even think the OC has come back to film because I think they're just gonna let the OC go, right? Um, that's what's going on right now. Portia's getting her wedding. You guys, watch my tower things right now. Also, Portia also unfollowed Cynthia Bailey. I don't think that was for the show. We see Cynthia. We see Kenya. We see Candy. Even though Candy tries to play the middle, now that Portia has some power. That's the thing about a cancer, right? Unevolved cancers do not like to be called out, even if they're dead wrong. Before she had to tolerate Candy calling her out and reminding her what a low down, dirty shame she was. Now that she has Simon's money and now that she has Simon's power, please believe she is going to come hard at Candy. And Candy is never a punk to back down, right? So look for that in the new season. It's going to be Cynthia. It's going to be Kenya. It's going to be Candy. Marla is going to try to ride the fence, but cancers are not easily forgiving. And honestly, it doesn't matter if Marlo, whether I was right or wrong, if Marlo had done that stuff to me at the reunion, we wouldn't be friends. I don't care if it was my own fault that I brought it on. I'm not going to be friends with someone. Um, I'm not going to be friends with someone that basically threw me under the bus like that, whether I was right or wrong, whether I was right or wrong. Now, Marlo's going to try to ride the fence, but as we can see from the Instagram post and what's going on, she's going to come back Um over to Kenya's side um, because again, she's cool with Candy. She was on speak on it. She put Portia on blast, all this stuff. Marlo is making a bet, but unlike Sheree, who never has the power at the sermon, Marlo has amazing powers of sermon. So we're looking at Shamia. We're looking at Portia. We're looking at um, uh, Shamia. Most likely we're going to be looking at Drew, but now that Portia doesn't, but then again, I now that Portia doesn't need Drew because before Portia was fine to rock with Drew because Drew would boot, do the petty dumb stuff and make a fool of her and hurt Kenya's I mean hurt Portia's enemies. However, if Shamia comes on as a full time friend and if they get Sheree back, you have two better people, two more slick people, two people who don't embarrass Portia. I don't care what y'all say, Drew embarrassed. Portia. She thought Drew was a bad look. Now she was fine to keep her around because you know the any of my enemy, but she embarrassed Portia a lot. And I know she cannot wait to get people around her that are a better look. That's one thing about cancer evolved or not evolved. Don't embarrass them. Do not embarrass them. They will not stay, right? For embarrassment. Um, also, uh, we noticed with Simon's $50,000 plea, right? Remember Simon's 50, this is aside about what's going on currently. Simon's $50,000 plea for somebody to provide information. Nobody's publicly come out and accepted it. But if there's one thing you know, you know that Simon didn't come publicly come out and be like, yo, told y'all, nobody came out and accepted this 50,000. You know why that is? Because just like I said, he is collecting information for his divorce. And if somebody comes to you with evidence that is not criminal, right? You can't, th th these type of contracts don't last for criminal. But if somebody comes to you with evidence and you pay them for it, right? and you pay them for it, they can sign a release saying that you will not share that with anyone and that evidence becomes there. It's called catch and kill. Journalists do it, lawyers do it, court cases do it all the time. That's what Simon was doing. Again, I was watching and I was like, I saw that 50K that you were actually giving, but isn't it funny, right? Isn't it funny? Ain't it funny? Sorry, isn't it funny that you never said, ha, 
told you guys so. Listen, Simon is smarter than he looks. I wouldn't underestimate her. Portia is smarter than she appears to be. However, right, right? Um, however, 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 let's see what happens. I took, watch the tarot card reading. It's really good. Um, what else is going on? Portia is just happy in love. Everybody in Dish Nation is kissing her butt. Listen, at the end of the day, Portia knows her one saving grace is she is good for business. That's why they were in the club tossing it up. Throwing napkins in the damn air. Like, let me tell you something. That scene told you everything that you needed to know about it. Portia was like, babe, babe, trying to get Simon's attention. Simon wasn't paying her attention. He had his dumb cigar. He had napkins and he was making it rain. Listen, Simon is a Peter Pan. He loves being in the club. Portia thinks that she can be that shot of youth and energy he needs and keep up with them. But girl, Guys like that stay in the club. It told you everything they needed to know about the personality in an empty club, throwing napkins in the air because against Georgia law, I think you can't have money because it's too dirty and money might have the coronavirus. So you're throwing napkins in the air. Shout out to Erica De Niro that said, that's all Simon is going, Porsche is going to be left with when Simon is done with their napkins. But you never know. This is actually going to be interesting. We know from the tarot card reading that Portia is going to have to pay a heavy emotional price, but I'm interested to see, I am interested to see what our little crafty cancer can come up with because I'm curious to see whether Portia is going to leave empty handed. Again, we give Portia um, a lot of, um, a lot of flack, right? But Portia has even gotten Nini off and she did establish herself as one of the titans of Real Housewives of Atlanta. Not bad from a girl that before was like, I'm not allowed to go to a strip club because Cordell told me. Portia knows how to put on an act. Portia, she's like, I don't want to minister to girls and be it. Portia knows how to put on an act. Portia knows how to do whatever she needs to do. She is cancer at its highest evolution and its lowest devolution, right? But all that that comes in between... Portia has it. So let's see what is going to happen. I'll keep y'all posted if there's any other news, but that's what you can pretty much expect for season 14. And it's also what you can expect for um, right now where things are with Portia and Simon. All right. I hope y'all enjoyed this. Like, comment, subscribe, push me up, lift me up, be my village and circulate because it does help me in the algorithm. But even if you don't feel like helping me in the algorithm, thank you so much for watching this video. I truly appreciate you guys. And I'll see you guys on the go around. Bye.